let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, I'm I'm in that place, guys. I'm in that place. Oh, let me let me play this real quick. This is the energy. This is the I'm gonna mo- mo- mostly I'm just gonna re- not react to it because I've seen it, but I'm just gonna play this. This is what I'm talking about. We need that Mike Lindell energy. Oh yeah, the man that invented the pillow, the comfy pillow. We need this energy. Now he was being deposed by some smarmy lawyer. We all know the type. Watched a couple episodes of Better Call Saul. Thinks he can be a a snappy one-liner guy. And he sucks. And he sucks. And then he runs into the the fucking iron the iron chested mustachioed monster that is Mike Lindell. Just enjoy. Tell us your full name, please. Michael James Lindell. Well, good morning, Mr. Lindell. My name is Charlie Kane. We met for the first time about... Who's paying you? About four minutes ago. Okay, go on. Is that right? What's that? Is that right? Is what, what was the question? We met for the first time. Yes, yes. Okay. Here's Nothing I love more than somebody starting off on the wrong foot on purpose. That's the best. That's the fucking best. Like, he hated it. He had fuck you energy from the first word. And that's what I'm talking about. We need this energy. What we're going to do. We're going to start slow. Because the court reporter is trying to take down what you're saying, okay? Don't sit and scold me already, mister. I'll do, I'll do whatever I have to do. So I don't, you're not, you're just a lawyer. You're an ambulance chasing lawyer. So don't start with me. I got all day. I'll take as much time as you want. So let's go. You're not my boss. You're just a lawyer, frivolous lawyer. So go. Don't start you know scolding this... me. And that, you see what he's doing? What he's doing is fucking great. Because I think we do that a lot. Uh, in in uh, debate, and I know this isn't a debate; it's a deposition, but it's based on the the. It's based on some. Uh, Mike Lindell put out the thing of uh, if anybody can prove the evidence I have, um, on on this voter fraud or something like that, then I'll give you a million dollars. And somebody claims to have proven him wrong. I don't know. I haven't seen any of that, but um, he's being deposed on that. So he. Already feels like I'm here for some bullshit. I just threw out something. I, I I don't know if uh I don't know if he's legally binded to actually pay that if he puts that out as a challenge. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. However, we know that he's been, they've been going after him for bullshit, frivolous bullshit. Like I've been talking to you all night about um where there's this two tiered justice system that goes after conservatives. Um. I'm not being a victim. I'm just stating a fact. That's all it is. I'm actually trying to, to, to fight it. Victims don't fight. So, but that's, that's all I'm saying is, is what he's doing is not even giving him the chance to set him up. Because that's what they try to do is they try to throw in little things, little smarmy fucking things where they go, well, well they'll say something very smarmy and then when you, and, and wait for you to blow up, they'll say a bunch of them. And then you'll finally just blow up and go, all right, you're, you're a smarmy little fucking prick. Go fuck yourself. And they go, see, I, I won the debate. That's how, that's how childish they are. Um, but I love what Michael Lendell did. He, he called it out right away. I know what the fuck you're doing. Just go ahead. Stop with the trying to scold me. Stop with the smarmy horse shit. You're not my boss. Now let's get on with it. Let's not let's not pretend to have a fucking professional, uh, uh, friendly conversation here. I don't like you. That's the energy we need. I love it. Oh, I'm asking questions. I'm not mm-hmm. going to scold you. Go well, ahead. Okay, and I'm not asking about the lumpy pillow calls. Uh, no, they're not lumpy pillows. That's not what they call on. Okay. That when you say lumpy pillows, now you're an asshole. You got that? You're an asshole Mike is what you are. Mike, no, sorry. he's an asshole. No, he's an ambulance chasing asshole. That's what you are. 
lumpy pillows, kiss my ass. Put that in your book. No, they, they answer anything, any problem customer that wants to reach Mike Lindell. Those are the ones. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. They send them to here and they go, or they call about, um, maybe they didn't get their pillow on time because of uh, um, the FedEx or whatever. But we'll cover them even though it could be somebody else's fault. Nobody calls because of a lumpy pillow. But good, good one though. You're done. Yeah, I'm done. Hey, the man backs his product. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying? That little smarmy fucking shit. Don't let that, don't let that fly anymore. Don't let it fly. That's nerd shit. That's passive aggressive bullshit. Pussy coward shit. That's, a, that's what females do, actually. Females and lawyers, of course. They try to push you to, to make you blow up, like reasonably blow up. And then they go, why are you mad? See, this is why I can't talk to you, because you're always yelling. Fucking pussies. When did we let... When did... Why, why did we let... Because I know when it happened. When did we let bitches... Or why did we let bitches have an opinion? Why did we let bitch opinions fucking matter? I guess that, 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 that could sum up my entire video here. I'm just tired of bitches. Bitches bitching for bitching sake. That's what liberalism is. We live in we live in the fucking one of the well, I guess we did. One of the finest first worlds ever. People had first world problems. Like there's not enough this this fucking latte isn't sweet enough. We had we had first world problems. Like, oh, I'm wearing a green shirt. I can't do green screen today. Fuck, man. Anybody got a shirt that I could put? No? Yeah. All right. Just do it with the background. First world problems. And they bitched like we were in, we were in fucking Somalia. Fucking faggots. Just ruin everything. Like literal faggots, too. Let me play one more Mike Lindell clip and then we'll, we'll go on. Maybe I'll leave. Maybe I'll stay. I don't know. I think that actually that seemed like it had everything, everything in it. No, let me play this one. Oh yeah, I think this is where the guy asked him, "Why'd you call me an ambulance chaser?" Like a little queer. So let me. Like a little, like 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 Mike Lindell's little brother. Finish my question, okay? okay? Yes. I tend to be a slow talker. Good for you. I'm from Texas originally. Good for you. I got all day. We'll see. we'll make a week of this. How about that? Go ahead. There you go. You see what I'm saying? Don't even let them. Don't even joke with these motherfuckers. He tried to make the the conversation light. Fuck you. Here's a here's a a hundred pound weight for the conversation. Keep it heavy, because they can't handle it. We can. I can handle heavy conversations all day, and and the rest of the week. Without sleep. These bitches, these liberal bitches, can't handle reality. They can't handle even looking at the world in a real in a real way. And they can't be criticized. It ruins everything for them. So yeah, don't don't bring it, don't let them bring it back to their level. You keep it where the fuck you feel comfortable. Good job, Mike. Good job. Well Probably done. up to your lawyer, but I'm happy to stay as long as you'd like. Just keep going. All right. Why'd you call me an ambulance chaser? What? Why did you call me an ambulance chaser? Because. Hold on, I gotta play that back. Look, you know how quick he said what? That was stone cold level what? You call me an ambulance chaser. What? <laughs> he didn't even finish the the, the sentence. On. 
right. Why'd you call me an ambulance chaser? What? Why did you call me an ambulance chaser? Because you are. This is a frivolous case, and if you're representing this guy and you've read this case, you are a disgusting lawyer. Period. There's my. That's my. That's my right to say. You want to sue me too, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Are you working on contingency or consignment with the guy? What do you? No, I can't believe anybody would take this. This is absolutely disgusting. It's a disgrace to our country. It's a disgrace to you. Anything else? No, that's it. You asked me a question. I answered it. All right. So let me finish my question. Okay. Not playing with him. Michael and Dell, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's how you handle it. That's how you handle it. That's how a real man handles a bitch.